Hi everyone, I'm Chris Barr, your feng shui and dowsing expert from West Palm Beach, Florida. And today I want to tell you about my feng shui and dowsing blog. In fact, if you see those words right above my head there, you can click on them and go directly to the blog and read my blog articles. This feng shui blog is a little bit different than other things that you've seen on the web because I don't always tell you things like, you know, how to clear your clutter or where to put your bamboo or how to sell, set up your wealth corner. Instead, I like to use my blog to look at world events and look at people's lives and see how their personal feng shui has affected them. And I'll give you a couple of examples of some previous blogs that I've uh, posted if you want to go back and look through the archives. One of them happened to be about O.J. Simpson. Well, a lot of people are familiar with O.J. Simpson, not only as a football player, but also think that he's guilty of killing his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. During O.J.'s trial, he had fabulous feng shui flying stars, it's a type of feng shui, sitting on two of his personal best directions. And in feng shui, everybody has four personal best directions. You have success, health, relationships and wisdom and every year and every month you have specific feng shui stars that sit on those four directions of yours and they affect you they affect your life they affect your career they affect your health and they affect your ability to learn and make decisions so when you look at that type of feng shui you're able to make predictions about what is possible for people's lives and even look at, look at situations that have occurred and explain why those happen. So that's how I use this blog. It's more of a, uh, it's, you know, it's a way to look at current events and talk about what happened. In fact, one of the things I talked about was who was going to win American Idol this season, season eight. And it was down to the last three guys when I posted this article. There was Danny Gokey, Chris Allen and Adam Lambert. So I looked at the feng shui for all three guys and Chris Allen had the very best feng shui. In fact, Adam Lambert, I could tell that the um, the show, you know, his moment in the spotlight was going to be stolen from him because he had the robbery star on his success direction, on one of his best directions. So I knew that he would not win based upon his feng shui. So you can use feng shui for other things than just how to set up your environment. You can look to the future and see what's possible for yourself, for your friends, and for the community around you. So I hope you enjoy the blog and hope you enjoy reading about it. And if you want your own personal feng shui outlook, you can always go to my website and click on shop feng shui and just order your personal feng shui outlook and we'll take a look at the next 12 months and tell you what's in store for you. Thanks. Till then. See you later.